Four Mini Horror Game Stories by Colton Dennis Twister A car appears driving then stops at a stoplight. Mrs. Jennings appears. Oh come on boys cheer up. You love seeing your grandmother, said Mrs. Jennings. Both Toby and Zach Jennings appear. Yeah, when she visits us, said Zach. You need to visit her too, every once in a while, said Mrs. Jennings. Yeah, but she doesn't even have Wi-Fi, said Toby. Oh cheer up. She has something better than that. She has board games, said Mrs. Jennings. Oh fun said Zack. The car pulls into a driveway then stops. The doors open then shut. Grandma Jennings appears standing on her porch. Oh, there's my handsome grandsons, said Grandma Jennings hugging then kisses both Toby and Zack. Hi Grandma, said both Toby and Zack. I'll pick them up at six mom. See you later boys and don't misbehave, said Mrs. Jennings. Yes mom, said both Toby and Zach. Don't worry dear. Me and the boys are gonna have so much fun, aren't we asked Grandma Jennings. Yes Grandma, said both Toby and Zach. The car pulls out of the driveway then drives down the road. Let's go inside. All three walking into the house. The front door closes. So, what do you two want to do asked Grandma Jennings. Got an Xbox asked Toby. Oh no, I don't do anything with this new technology. But. I do have board games. Would you like to play one asked Grandma Jennings. I guess, said Zack. Toby hits Zack's arm. Sounds exciting. We'd love to play, Grandma, said Toby. Oh good. I know, I just bought a game. And it's still in its box. I'll go get it, said Grandma Jennings walking away. Both Toby and Zack walk into the living room then sitting onto a couch. This place is so boring, said Zack. Zack, remember what Mom said. Don't misbehave, said Zack. Yeah, all right, said Zack sitting back further onto the couch. Footsteps approaching. Grandma Jennings appears carrying a box. Here we go boys, said Grandma Jennings placing down Twister box. Twister, are you sure you can play this grandma asked Toby. Oh, your grandma could still move at her age. Come on, let's open it, said Grandma Jennings. The plastic wrap being ripped off the twister box. Both Toby and Zack take off the lid. A tornado breaks through the house. The end. Connect 4. A light turns on. Jesse Santos appears with his head down, groans, lifts his head then tries to move. Hey. What the hell's going on here asked Jesse looking to his right then sees woman's hand attached to his. Daisy Hammond appears. Jesse shakes his right arm. Daisy wakes up then sees Jesse. Hey, what's going on here who are you asked Daisy. I could ask the same question, said Jesse. Where are we asked Daisy. I don't know. 
Jesse looks to his left then sees Tony Sullivan. Hey, hey, wake up. Jesse shakes his left arm. Tony opens her eyes, sees Jesse then screams. Whoa, 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 don't scream. It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt you, said Jesse. Who are you who's she where am I asked Tony. We don't know. We just woke up and were somehow stuck together, said Jesse. Groaning sound. Jake Mendez appears. Hey, are you all right asked Daisy. I'm fine, just have a bad headache. Jake rubs his eyes then sees his right arm attached to Daisy's left arm. What is this? asked Jake. We don't know. We just woke up ourselves, said Jesse. Intercom turns on. Hello everyone. I hope you all had a good night's sleep, said male voice number one. Hey. What the hell's going on here? Man asked Jake. Yeah, where are we? asked Daisy. You're in a secure place. Where no police will ever find you, said male voice number one. What do you want with us? asked Jesse. My intentions for you is nothing. Not anymore, said male voice number one. Well, let us go and get us unattached from one another, said Jake. I'm afraid I can't do that. Because you see, we're playing a game, said male voice number one. Yeah, and what kind of game is it and how do we win asked Daisy. I'm afraid you misunderstood me. When I said, we're playing a game. I meant, me and my friends. You are the pieces of the game. And I won, said male voice number one. How'd you win asked Jesse. Because, I got, connect four, said male voice number one. So, what happens now? You let us go asked Jake. No, you four will stay in this room until you die, said male voice number one. You can't just leave us here, said Tony. All four looking at speaker. Hey hey, where'd you go he? Yelled Jake. All four yelling for help. The end. Operation. An operating room appears. Martin Rios appears laying on an operating table, groans then wakes up. Hello, hello, is anybody there I think there's a problem here. Why am I in an operating room hello, I didn't have any surgeries scheduled. The operating room door opens. Martin looks. A tray table being pushed inside the operating room. Nurse number one appears. Hey hey hey, you nurse. Help me, I'm not supposed to be getting surgery. Nurse number one stops pushing the tray table then walks towards the operating door. Hey, help me. I'm not supposed to be getting surgery, said Martin. The doctor will be with you in just a minute, said nurse number one shutting the operating door. But I'm not supposed to be getting surgery, said Martin laying his head down. A door from other side of the operating room opens. Martin looks. Hello Mr. Rios. How did we sleep asked the doctor. Fine, said Martin being interrupted. Great, 
said the doctor. Why am I here? I'm not supposed to be getting surgery, said Martin. Oh, you don't remember? Well, that's because after I put some crushed sleeping pills into your drink, you actually signed this form. The doctor shows paperwork. Your signature when you're drunk and drowsy is very messy. Well, shall we begin? asked the doctor. Shouldn't I be sleeping? asked Martin. Actually, we operate on you while you're awake, said the doctor. You mean the hospital when you said, we right? asked Martin. Oh no, I meant me and my friends, said the doctor. The door from other side of the operating room opens again. Martin looks. More doctors appear. Now, let's see what I get today. The doctor reaches into a bag then pulls out a picture. Oh, I get to chop off your knee. Now I just need my special tool. Doctor number two hands a chisel and a pick. I would tell you this won't hurt a bit. But, most of our patients usually scream. Here we go, said the doctor swinging the chisel. The pick goes into Martin's leg. Martin screams. Screaming echoes down the hallway. The end. Guess who Joanne Carson appears eating? Hand covers Joanne's eyes. Guess who asked male voice number one? Joanne smiling. Hmm, I'm hoping it's my boyfriend. Who I'm supposed to meet for dinner, said Joanne. Hand gets taken off Joanne's eyes. Mitchell Payne appears. Hey beautiful, said Mitchell kissing Joanne. So, how was work asked Joanne. It was great. I showed up. Typed some numbers into a computer then came here to see the most beautiful woman ever, said Mitchell. Well, how about your idea did they go for it Mitchell puts his head down. Oh babe, I'm sorry, said Joanne. Mitchell looks up then smiles. I got you. They totally went with my idea said Mitchell. Oh, that's wonderful babe. Just think, one day you'll be one of the top people, said Joanne smiling. With you by my side too, said Mitchell. Both Joanne and Mitchell raise glasses then clink them together. Joanne moaning. Both Joanne and Mitchell appear laying in bed then breathing heavily. Wow, you were very good tonight, said Joanne. Thanks babe, I hope I'm always good. But I guess tonight I was good enough, said Mitchell laughing. Joanne smiles then kisses Mitchell. I can't believe we're together, said Joanne. Neither can I Mitchell sits up. Babe, could I ask you a question asked Mitchell. Babe, you could ask me anything. Is something wrong asked Joanne sitting up. No, nothing's wrong. Everything is perfect. I just wanted to, said Mitchell slowly opening his nightstand drawer. Smashing sound in the distance. What was that asked Joanne? I don't know. Stay here, I'll be back, said Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell, don't leave me, said Joanne. You'll be all right. Just close the door, said Mitchell walking out of the bedroom door.
Joanne closes the bedroom door, walks backwards then sees the nightstand drawer open ajar. The gun. Joanne runs around the bed, opens the drawer all the way, grabs the handgun then sees a small box. What is this Joanne sits onto the bed then opens the small box. A ring appears. Joanne gasps. Oh my god. Mitchell was gonna propose, said Joanne. A hand covers Joanne's eyes. Guess who asked Mitchell? Oh, Mitchell. I love thee, said Joanne turning around then sees a masked man holding a knife. Joanne screams. Smashing sounds from inside the apartment. The apartment door opens. The masked man walks out of the apartment, closes the door, stops, wipes blood off of the knife then starts walking down the hallway. Joanne's body appears laying on the bedroom floor. Mitchell's body appears laying in the living room. The End